The latest now on Donald Trump's criminal trial in Manhattan. Stormy Daniels, former attorney, took the stand, was grilled by the defense as jurors heard audio taste of Trump discussing the deal. Aaron Katursky is at the courthouse. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, George. The court day actually began with the judge speaking directly to Donald Trump. After court yesterday, Trump said that he couldn't testify in his own defense because of the gag order, and the judge this morning told him that's not true. He has the absolute right to testify. Twelve days before the 2016 presidential election, Keith Davidson sent a two-word text about a $130,000 wire transfer he accepted on behalf of his client, adult film actress Stormy Daniels. The message said, funds received. It was some of the jury's first direct evidence of the hush payment that prosecutors said Donald Trump tried to conceal from voters by falsifying business records. After Trump won the election, Davidson texted, what have we done? What did you mean when you say, what have we done? The prosecutor asked Davidson, who responded, that our activities may have in some way assisted the presidential campaign of Donald Trump. Months later, Davidson was on the phone with Michael Cohen, who said Trump often complained about paying Daniels. And I, I can't even tell you how many times he said to me, you know, um, I hate the fact that we did it. And my comment to him was, but every person that you've spoken to told you it was the right move. I attributed that to be a quote from Mr. Trump, Davidson testified, about what the prosecutor asked, the Stormy Daniels settlement. On cross-examination, the defense suggested Trump was the victim of a shakedown by a lawyer steeped in tabloid tactics over celebrity stories involving Hulk Hogan, former MTV reality star Tila Tequila, and Charlie Sheen. The defense asking, in 2016, you were pretty well versed in getting right up to the line without committing extortion, right? I had familiarized myself with the law, Davidson responded. Trump is still waiting for the judge to decide whether to hold him in contempt for a second time over gag order violations. But Judge Mershon was clear, Trump, just like any other criminal defendant, has the absolute right to testify if he so chooses. Janae? A lot to continue watching there, Aaron. Thank you.